Hi folks, welcome back or welcome to or whatever the hell, it's been a hell of a long night. We're on the, the home stretch. We've reached the end. Are you ready? So thank God one of my subscribers rented a truck for me and my mother then blocked me and Burke so I couldn't even call her. Marjorie was here during all that her vacation I ruined it completely I was hysterical mm. that's when I called Shawnee too before they moved here saying oh my god my mother's leaving my mother's moving moved back to Boston I'm just gonna I don't know what to do she was like should I call 911 I was like, that is what a friend says? She's like, Kevin said I need to step away. So I'm going to give you space. And she left me, Shawnee, for months. That's what you do to a friend when a friend is having a crisis. That's what she did because Kevy was probably saying, you're always having a fucking crisis. There's always something wrong. I don't have a crazy life at all. I've had people that I've trusted. I've had a parent that I trusted that fucked me over. Maybe she wanted you to grow up. If she had just given me a heads up some time, I could have arranged something else. I wouldn't be living in this complex, which was expensive to begin with, but she wanted to live in the same spot place as me. I would have lived someplace cheaper. even though Burke was in school, whatever. <clears throat> so I had to scramble and move into the two, the one bedroom and get rid of so much, so many things that meant so much to me. Living here like this, it's embarrassing. I can't bring anyone over. I don't have a bedroom. When Burke and I get into a fight, I don't have a door to close and he won't leave me alone. When I have to go to the bathroom or throw up or shit or poop and it makes a noise, he's in the bedroom. I can't come out of the shower naked and dry myself. It's not, you know, I'm 55 years old. This isn't what I wanted, but I made the best I could. But it's not, people say, you blame everybody else. Yeah, I didn't do this. I would never, what has been done to me, I never would do to somebody. You're always the victim. I would never have up and left my mother holding the bag and not told her. Hasn't she held the bag your entire life? The truth. She was like, no, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I could barely even get her here with my knee. No. Sorry. My lease isn't up until June. Burke had hold, punched a hole in the door in the closet when he was mad. So there's a hole in the door covered by stickers. I don't know. I can never get, I'm always behind the eight ball because I'm, Joey, why are you watching? You don't belong here. I don't like to make fun of people's looks. I'm, I don't need to go there. She's got enough wrong with her that I can talk about her character. Anyways, I'll get charged for the hole in the wall. Is that why you did the moonlight flip then? I have to, and then... 
first thing i'll get charged for the hole in the wall what about all the nails in the wall there where you you decide to do that everywhere you move to put nails in the wall and hang your jewelry up either get a jewelry case or use command strips or something why do you always do that but you'll blame burke yeah so that's why they did the moonlight then isn't it because she didn't want to pay for any of the things that she fucked up while she was living there just when everything was going okay i was living here feeling better got a job don't work Burke, I'm still on. <laughs> that worked for all of 35 seconds, didn't it, Burke? Don't bark, don't bark. Yeah, great. Okay. He's not saying it now. <laughs> no. Burke, I'm still on. Mom. They can hear right now. Yes. What? You just look at me. Just... Okay, can you not do it now? Making me seem like I'm the... No! I'm trying to keep it under wraps. Okay. Okay. So I got through all of that, made peace with my mother, made peace with living here, looked at the bright side. Okay, I have a fireplace in my bedroom. I have sliders. It is what it is. So I, you know, I'll suck it up. I gave my, my son the bedroom so that he could have privacy. Week and a half into my new job, I go outside and my car isn't there. It's been repossessed because my mother, who said, I'm going to help you a little bit and I'll pay for the car payment for three months until you get a job and then you'll pay me at the end. Which How were you paying for it when you didn't have a job? That's the question. I always paid for it. No, you didn't, obviously. Because if you did, it would be paid for. Because I was paying every month. Didn't do that, so she lied to me again. And then wouldn't help me get my car back. Not with money, but even with anything. Wouldn't make any phone calls, nothing. I had to do it all at work. And that's why I had to do the GoFundMe. People, because there is a place closer to work that's 2100 a month for two bed and two bath. Really nice. But it's probably going to be on the second floor. But you need good credit. And mine isn't the greatest. You need a deposit. I'm going to get charged. For damages here. You know, just regular wear and tear. I have to find movers. I'll have to take time off from work to do it. I feel like I need, might need to stay put one more year. Because honestly... Because see, that's the thing I don't understand. I'd need to find movers. Couldn't you and Burke get them things, a U-Haul van? What is there you have to move next to nothing? You don't own anything. There's your bed, his bed, a couple of tables, a settee. A bedside thing, that shitty thing that you use all the time that you say was your grandmother's, 
that enormous urn that you drag around all over the place. What else? The divider thing. And then a few kitchen utensils and some Tupperware tubs. Your clothes, his clothes. It's not like you're moving an entire house. But if we were going to move, there's two wardrobes. There's my desk, there's Alex's, there's Helmer's, there's a Super King bed, there's my daughter's bed, her wardrobe, her chest of drawers, but blah, 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 blah. What do you have to move? Nothing. And you're going on about, oh, it might be on the second floor. You moved to one upstairs. And you complained about that, and then you moved from one upstairs to another one upstairs. Why? When Burke moves out, I want a studio. I want, I work 47 hours a week. I just want a little place I don't have to clean. You'll have to clean everywhere. Sorry, I'm picking my teeth. Um... That one bed apartment's practically a studio. Thank you, Alison. So when people say I blame other people, I feel like, yeah, I do. Because I trusted what people told me people that I trusted with my life. Most people would say, all right, if, if what you say truly happened, they'd say, okay, time for me to put my big girl pants on and just move on and learn from it. But you don't, do you? 50 fucking six and you still don't know what you're doing. And then the torturous texts I get from my mother, I had to just put an end to it. So I don't talk to her right now. I haven't spoken to her since Thanksgiving. Here, if I get a, this, these places don't do first and last. They do a deposit and first. The deposit is very low. It's like 500, but even 2100 for a two bedroom is a lot for me. I need three jobs, Sensi, what I get on YouTube, and my job in order to, I mean, my job pays for rent and my car payment, but then Burke would never have a place to come, you know? Or a, or a oversized studio. And then it is stressful. You know, I've moved so much and I, and I'm, I don't feel well. I have, I know I sound like I'm complaining. I'm really a positive person most of the time. I, <laughs> when? I'm so strong and I get through everything. Oh, thank you for letting me know, Rose. I haven't been on Sensi for a while. I just kind of need to take a break from... But I, I don't feel great. You know, I have... No, my son doesn't pay rent. He's in college. I would... He doesn't pay for anything. He doesn't even pay his car insurance. I did just get him off my phone, though, and I made his father pay. I don't want to 
behind a bed. I don't care about that. Oh. Is that where you live? No. You should get together with me. I could use a friend. Well, this three and a half hour debacle is going to make anyone want to be your friend, don't they? Fuck's sake. You'd watch this, you'd run in the opposite direction. Oh, nice. You got on Disney stuff. Thank you. And where I live right now is six miles from my work. I love the pool here. I know the management. I know my neighbors. I feel safe. What do I need a bedroom for? Yeah, I don't, I wouldn't. That would have worked really well if it had a separate toilet not just the bathroom off the bedroom because I must admit that mustn't have been much fun having to tiptoe past a sleeping boy to go to the toilet and if you've got IBS or like her you're throwing up because you ate too much or drank too much and then you're waking him up so he's got the hump do you know what I mean and it's like smells as well you just Apart from that, though, it, I can't see it working. Not bit. I can't see it not working. Is what I meant to say. I mean, it's fine, but it's just she needed this like me. I need an ensuite. Like the other day, my son was in there. I don't know what he was doing. I don't want to think about what he was doing. And in the end. I had to send him a message on Messenger and say, because I couldn't stand up because I was going to wet myself. And he's like, are you going to be much longer? And he's like, oh, right, no, I'm finishing up now. And it's like, we need another bloody toilet. It's it's madness. Make them pay rent. To me, I don't think I would ever make them pay rent, even if he's like 35 and he comes home from a divorce. But see, that's where you're going wrong. Because probably your mother never made you do. And so you end up a dependent. He should get used to paying rent and doing chores and all the rest of it. Yeah, not now. He's in college, I understand. But he can tidy his own room and do his own laundry, at least. I'm not unhappy where I am, but I would love to only pay 1700 Because right now, my job pays for just rent and car, and I do have other bills. And I would love to have a cleaning person come once a month. You live on a postage stamp. How difficult is it to keep that clean? No, I can't do that with a, my son here. Plus, none of these places allow you to rent out the bedroom. That's why when I did that with Dan and Kevin, it was quite not legal. But we kept it under wraps. Blade Wire, you never answered my question, so I'm thinking you don't really live here. It would be so nice if I had it, especially since, you know, when I am technically disabled, I, I hurt. My foot hurts, my knees hurt. Yeah, and I have the two dogs, and if I, I don't want a third person, like, I wouldn't mind a roommate. Let's say Burke moved out. 
you know, or if he was in college somewhere. I wouldn't mind an older roommate if it, if the setup was right. Like, if it was, like, a main entrance and a roommate to the left, roommate to the right. But <laughs> I really just want something smaller. Even this place is a lot to clean. Are you a man or a woman? Burke, are you gonna watch the Super Bowl? What? Are you gonna watch the Super Bowl? Maybe. Are you a man or a woman? Blade wire. Kitty, I would love it. I just, I can't really afford it. I mean, oh, I would love a gay friend. I would love a gay friend. Here, I'll give you my number. Text me, 617-455-2044. You had a gay friend. And you were horrible to him. And then you had another gay friend and you frightened him away. <laughs> talking about wanting to live with him two minutes after you started talking on YouTube. You're too much too soon. That's your problem. That's why you have no friends. You're too needy. No, I'm not that sleepy. I just... Maybe my eyes look it. I just won't remember any of this. Text me right now if you're real and tell me your name. I know I would love to have a friend that was a gay man. I'm such a fruit fly. I love my gays. We would have fun. I could use a friend if you could use a friend. So text me. Now we'll see if you text me. She's putting me to sleep. Those eyes. Did you get my number? 617-455-2044. Oh, class. And you wonder why you get weirdos phoning you up when you throw your phone number around everywhere. Talking of phones, right, I've often talked about my shit phone. It's got a crap battery in it. You've only got to look at it and it goes down 10%. I don't know what is wrong with the damn thing. Anyway, <laughs> grab a drink, have a snack, put your feet up. We're having an interval. <clears throat> so I have been for a year and a half, maybe two years, trying to get a bank account set up for madam and it's been a nightmare an absolute fucking nightmare oh because she doesn't have a passport and she doesn't have a driving license and blah 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 blah, blah. and it's like no because she's severely autistic and we can't afford to go on far away holidays and you don't just buy a passport for the fun of it. So we fought and fought and fought and fought. Anyway, eventually we've got this bank account. Then I had to wait another month to get a secret number through the post so that I could do online banking. Then it eventually came and I was like, who fucking Ray? Now I can sort stuff out, open her up a savings account move some money about, go onto the account, try to open a savings account, it won't let me. Because she's got a basic bank account, whatever the fuck that means. So I phone up and I say, I why can't I open her a bank account? Oh, we need to talk to her, but I've got a third party mandate. Oh no, but you can't open accounts for her. You can only 
uh, do things on her behalf. What is the point of us going through all of that and me getting the third party fucking whatever it is to do whatever and I can't do fuck all? We need to talk to her. I said, she doesn't do the phone. Well, she's going to have to. I said, can't you do it by email? No. So anyway, get her up here. I had headphones plugged into the phone because I can't hold it because my arm spasms. I don't like talking on the phone because I lose my train of thought and I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. And then she comes up and she's like, it, by this stage, the screen had gone black. And I didn't know how to get it back on. I was tapping it around the edges because I didn't want to tap in the middle and end up disconnecting the call because it had taken half an hour to get this far. And so I had to unplug it because I couldn't put it on speaker. I, that was it. I had to give her the headphones because I couldn't put it on speaker because the, the thing would... So they're talking to her and then she's looking at me and I'm like... What did they say? So she has to tell me what they said. Then I have to tell her how to answer. And they're like, does she understand? Then this woman spent fucking ages talking really slowly about it's 12.5% AER rising and blah, 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 blah. That means nothing to anybody. And I, I said, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I've got a really crap phone and the battery is counting down. Can you speed up a bit? Oh, my colleague told me I had to speak slowly. And it's like, she's not a moron. And my daughter was wetting herself laughing. And it's like, what the fuck is going on? Anyway, an hour later, this is all done. They've set up a savings account great plug my phone into charge and forgot about it then later on i wanted to unplug the phone so i could plug my ipad in and the phone wouldn't switch on and it's like what the fuck and i was holding the button for ages nothing so i was like oh great i'm gonna have to buy another phone anyway my son <laughs> tech help <laughs> bobbed his head in before he went to bed and i was like oh do you, do you want a phone to fuck about with? Because, you know, boys dismantling things. And he's like, why? What's wrong with it? I said, it's died. I don't know what the fuck's up with it. And he's like, oh, okay. So off he goes. Two minutes later, he's back. Ta-da! And he's like, how did you get it to switch on? Well, apparently, he plugged it, the connector from his computer into the phone and kept his thumb on the power button and... It switched up, but I fucking hate that phone. It's stupid. I can't wait. And then I looked up today, and you can get batteries, but I don't know how you'd get a ba new battery in it. I'm going to ask him later and see if it's worth buying a battery for it. But And it's like it makes you look like a liar. Because I gave it to my husband. I was like, it's dead. It won't do anything. And he tried switching it on and pressing all the buttons and holding it and whatever, and it didn't work. And then... Give it to me, son. And it's like, what do you do? <laughs> my friend with the autistic son, he's probably nodding his head and laughing at me now, isn't he? It's obvious. Did you not know how to do that? No, <laughs> we're old. We don't understand. Anyway, 15 minutes and we'll be out of here. Yeah, I mean, it, it was a lateral move. I think James is one of my good friends, but you know, he lives in New York. Waiting for the text. I still don't know your name. My uncle's gay too. He's not talking to me anymore. Maybe because of the video you made. <laughs> that might have something to do with the fact that he's not talking to you anymore. Oh, and the message he sent you to grow up and stop depending on your mother. You didn't like that, did you? So you did what you always did. And you told all the family secrets. I 
Okay, but you didn't tell me what your name is. Hey there, what is your name? As you can see, I'm not... Uh, Caliber Collision. Who told who where you worked? Putting... Oh, don't do that! Not again! Ugh! 3.16.08 Whoops, looks like something went wrong. Really, do you think? Mm. Do we have... Yeah, we have internet access. Why is nothing... Oh, now I've forgotten how far on it is. It will come to me, I suppose. Work, damn you. Talk amongst yourselves for a minute. We are nearly done. We're almost there. Today! See, it's asking about because I told too long of a story and it got the hump. <clears throat> yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't make them pay one. A month. Number text me 617-455-2044. We would have fun. I could use a friend if you could use a friend. Yeah, I mean, it, it was a lateral move. I think James is one of my good friends, but, you know, he lives in New York. Waiting for the text. I still don't know your name. My uncle's gay, too. He's not talking to me. Ding-a-ling. I got the text. Okay, but you didn't tell me what your name is. Maybe they don't hey want there, to. What is your name? As you can see, I'm not putting it on YouTube. I would not do that. Unless you fuck with me and then I will tell everything. Exactly. <laughs> So why would anyone want to be your friend? I'm nice. I'm so much fun. Of course you Hi. are. <gasps> okay, so do you live by yourself? That's what the scam people do every day. Once they find out you live on your own. Sam, okay? Which isn't your name, but I'm going to call you Sam. And I think... <laughs> it's not really a boyfriend. We're going to call him Sam. Although I could just say your first name. Like, what's the big deal? But I won't. I could say your name, what's the big deal? If he wanted people to know what his name was, he'd have said it on fucking YouTube, wouldn't he? Oh, that's cool. How old? 
I'm texting him from YouTube. <laughs> no, not even writing out to write. <laughs> oh, that's where I work. Oh, no. Somebody already put it out there. I don't really give a shit. You! Threaten me. <sighs> you I'm put it afraid. out there. I'm not afraid to take a stand. Everybody, come take my hand. Walk this walk together through the storm, whatever weather. Please don't okay, sing. So we should really talk some more. Would you like that? Nineteen. I didn't put the... Are you calling me ghetto? I thought you were nice. I didn't put the stickers. My son did. Because he didn't want me to see that he had punched a hole in the door. And then he felt really bad. I, I was just thinking today. I was like, I would really love a gay friend. We'll go to a gay bar and make friends. Simple. They do. Okay, it's a date. Let's get to know each other. Let's meet for, let's meet next, like, either frat. Do you work? I work in Le She'll be making up this whole story in her head. Oh, I've got a new gay friend and we're going to do this and we'll go here and we'll go there and we'll do lots of things and it'll be so much fun. And this person was never heard of again, were they? Good any girl. Me too. And let's chat tomorrow. We could either meet. I'm going to the museum with my son tomorrow, but we could meet like for coffee or a drink. I prefer a Saturday only because Friday, by the end of the week, I'm so tired, but I would do that. So you go to bed. I will chat with you tomorrow. I'm really glad that for whatever reason you found my channel and reached out to me. Yeah, Lori, I would do a meetup. So Sam, we'll chat tomorrow, okay? Good night. Oh, I don't have to. Um. I do a meetup. I would, but I don't have enough people around here that to do my meetup would be like one person. Not that one person isn't good, but it would be like oh. like if you want to meet me. What day is it today? That doesn't have the money to pay. Okay, oh, he sent me little heart, big heart, and a unicorn. Love it. Monday. Um, no. Lori, where, where do you live again? His names you know how many names I remember at work and I remember them and they hug me I'm like Alicia they make me go to lunch I don't want to go to lunch I say to my boss I really don't want to go to lunch can I just work he's like Lori you need to go to lunch but I want like my worst that's my worst thing that I do is that I don't want to take a lunch I just want to work because I'm supposed to take a lunch before my fifth hour. It's California law. He could change my timesheet. I don't care. Like, just... Yeah, and then when you get pissed off with him and you sue the company because they never gave you a lunch break, like that physiotherapy office that you wrote a big stinking letter to saying that you never took your break and you came in early and you went home late and blah 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 
He isn't going to risk that because he ain't stupid. But if I'm in the middle of helping people and it's so busy, it is crazy busy. I barely ever have a moment to sit and do anything. What do you want to sit and, and do? I haven't even been trained on accounts receivable, which is my job. Cerritos. Yeah, wait a minute. Oh, I missed that. Jesus Christ. Lori Corn. I couldn't let you're not gonna fly in. I'm not gonna I can't I'm not doing a meetup like that. If you wanna meet me, fly here and meet me. No, Lori, just why don't you just meet up with me? I've been to Cerritos, my the owner of that little of my little bungalow that I first moved uh, here. He lived in Cerritos. Cerritos is really nice. That park. I would meet you anytime. Just you and I could meet. What am I gonna do a meet up and have like people fly in? Text me. Where do you live, happy voice? Oh, well. Okay, Marilyn, it's a deal. Look, if any of you want to meet with me, I'll make time for you. Fly in. But you always flake out on people when you make arrangements. I wouldn't fly to see you. They're mad. I'm sure we would. Anyone that says we would have a blast, we would have a blast. I really want another piece of celery. What would be the trend? that wrinkle it's a common but I do want my forehead I would love it. I would love it. oh I just want to quickly tell you guys so the makeup that I've decided <clears throat> is going to be a lighter color of the Laura Mercier mineral powder which is the best okay bye Sherry come back next time okay um oh me up sir I'm gonna show you my kaboo Anyways, Laura Mercier Mineral Powder. I have the Rich Vanilla. I want one shade lighter. It's a little bit dark for me right now. Oh, yeah. I hear you, Elaine. I hate that. Anyways, uh, that, it was really nice on my face, and then I can still make it glow. Stay there. I'm going to show you my caboodle, and then I'm getting off. Okay, wait for my caboodle. But I want to show you how cute they are. You can get in your bed. Get your bed. You got matching beds. But as a treat, everybody's going to get to sleep on Mama's bed tonight. And then look at these. Okay, you guys. I you have not opened them yet. So you see those, but then there's, look at all these. Ooh, 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 ooh. Child. Did you get a caboodle because oh, Lisa Lisa D1 had one? The caboodles. Oh. Okay. No, no, baby goo. No, no, baby goo. That's what I call her. Baby goo. Pom pom is a baby goo. Smells like a Barbie. <laughs> Finally, we waited so long. Okay, can you see the sparkles? So why did you go from that to a cardboard box? And then here, L-O-V-E, like that. 
here, and it has that there. And here's the handle. Look at the Lucite handle with even a bubble inside. And then, child. Let me show you. So the mirror. So this opens up. Let me see. So it's like that. Everyone knows what a caboodle okay. is. And then this. Okay, so this is the mirror that I told you. I'm going to glue it on. So it's supposed to be here. And then this. And now this had a slidey thing on top, which I'd never use anyway. So this is the whole thing. The only thing is, it's very deceiving. Because when you close it, so let's say you have like makeup that you have standing up. It really doesn't even have that much room. Because watch when watch how much room you have when it closes. Yes, we know. You see how that goes down a lot. So you really only have that much. Oh, that's cool. So, so you didn't this know is that. Caboodle. I could leave it open like this. And then if I need to take it in there, but I'm not going to. So I have to glue this in. It's got this little area here. And, I... and the slidey bit was supposed to be to protect the mirror that you don't like. So now if the mirror falls off, it'll fall into the... No, Pom Pom, don't jump up. No, no. Because there's two not there. No. No. Caboodle. And then I thought, do you guys want me to do... Well, they have them in Ulta in all different colors. And I found this one online, too. This exact one. I didn't get it online, but I found it online. $15. Do you guys want me to do it ASMR? No. Like this? Do you like that? No! So, I would talk about just No! Maybe what I'll do is I'll do my regular makeup when I put transfer everything in here. Oh, I have to pee so bad right now. I'm going to pee my pants. It just came over me. Okay, maybe I'll do when I put when I put my um, makeup in here, I'll do it regular and then I'll do a show and tell what's in my caboodle. Okay, you guys. Oh. I can't move. I have to go to the bathroom so bad. Does that happen to you? <sighs> if I stand up, it's going to pee out. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go. <laughs> Bye. Maybe if you didn't spend three and a half hours on a live and never go, you wouldn't be so desperate to go now, would you? <sighs> we made it! <laughs> Thanks everyone if you made it this far and I will catch you in the next one.